Hey guys, last time we spoke I said we would talk this time about brown-headed cowbirds, red-winged blackbirds, and double-breasted mattress thrashers. <laughs> However, uh, mattress thrashers are heavily copyrighted, so we're only going to be able to talk about those other two birds in this episode. The red-winged blackbird is a very common bird and was... Oh, hang on one second. Starling. Okay, as I was saying, this bird is everywhere in Wisconsin, and across the entire North American continent for that matter. Their range stretches from southern Mexico all the way up to northern Canada. They're primarily a wetland bird, and they'll do freshwater or saltwater marshes, but you also find them in other places where water gathers, like, uh, you know, drainage ditches, golf courses. They'll even go upland into drier areas as well. Oh, hang on, this guy's sharing the fence with a house sparrow. Let's take care of that. The males are unmistakable with that bright red patch on their shoulder and the yellow underneath. But the females look considerably different. They are very bland and look basically like a large sparrow. Immature males lack that bright coloration on their shoulder. Here's one doing some weird stuff in a tree. I'm really not exactly sure what this guy's up to. The females choose their mates by how brightly colored their shoulders are. And this immature one here doesn't have much of a shot. Also, I don't know what he's doing here, but I don't think it's helping the situation either. And I'm just going to cut away from this guy now before he embarrasses his family any further. Red-winged blackbirds are polygamous. One male establishes a territory and breeds with multiple females within that territory. The bigger the male, the stronger the male, the tougher the male, the more girls he's going to have under him. Literally. <laughs> the bird's really not that big. Here we see him compared next to a European starling. The starling is one fence post closer, but you can still see that he's considerably larger than the blackbird. But don't let their small stature fool you. This bird is a scrapper. They don't back down from any fight. If males want to keep all those girlfriends, they've got to fight regularly with other males who want to take their harem away from them. These birds are seriously nuts. They're crazy. Uh, how crazy? Are they Dr. Evil crazy? Jacobin Mugatu crazy? Clockwork Orange crazy? No, these guys are full out Gary Busey crazy. They all follow a very simple system. They frequently take on birds that are much bigger than them. Much, much bigger than them. Vastly bigger than them. Red-tailed hawks, swans, egrets, sandhill cranes, caracaras, great blue herons. Even the American bald eagle isn't immune to the butt-kicking of a red-winged blackbird. And humans? Oh yeah, you bet. This guy, this guy, even this old fella. They're all getting the business end of this bird. Oh, hold it. Another starling. And these birds are in no danger of extermination or extirpation anywhere. Their numbers are huge in the fall when they gather together. Once mating season is done and the chicks have fledged. Okay, back to the business of starlings. In every video, I have a matrix bird. Check this out. I'm squeezing the trigger here. Now I'm firing. And impact. That bird literally moseyed away from being shot. All right, then. I'm taking out your buddy over here instead. So, on to the cowbird. This unassuming little fella here. He couldn't possibly want to mess with anyone, would he? Oh yes, in fact he messes with the red-winged blackbird regularly. Actually, I shouldn't say he does, she does, the female cowbird. Cowbirds are brood parasites. This means that they lay their eggs in other birds' nests and get those other birds to raise their chicks for them. They actually do this to hundreds of other birds, but they target the red-winged blackbirds pretty regularly. 
Now the eggs look different enough that you would think the bird can tell a difference, but the red-winged blackbird can't. Some birds can, I'll get to them in just a second. But the red-winged blackbird has employed a strategy that keeps the cowbirds from getting an advantage over its own babies. And that is, despite the fact that cowbird chicks are much louder and more vocal about wanting to get fed, the red-winged blackbird feeds all chicks equally no matter how much racket they're making. And look at this cowbird. He's missing a leg. I videotaped a cowbird missing a leg. I gotta think that maybe, just maybe, one red-winged blackbird caught on and beat his ass. It's just that something about this whole parasitic scenario doesn't sit well with me. It makes me want to do something like this. Okay, so as I mentioned, some birds can recognize these cowbird eggs, and they can take action. The American robin can tell the difference between its eggs, which is a light blue egg, and the speckled cowbird egg, and the American robin's big and strong enough to pitch those eggs out of its own nest. Another bird that can recognize cowbird eggs is the yellow warbler. However, this bird is too small to actually pitch the big cowbird eggs from its nest, so it employs different strategies. These guys literally built a nest on top of a nest, sacrificing their own eggs to avoid raising the cowbird's chicks. The decision of when to build a nest over another nest is largely based on how far along their own eggs are. If they lay their eggs before the cowbird's eggs, they're more likely to attempt to raise all chicks. Now this is what they're supposed to raise. These are yellow warbler chicks. But if the cowbird strategy works, and it frequently does, this is what happens and these little tiny yellow warblers wind up raising baby Huey for the cowbirds. Oop, oh, hang on, there's a house sparrow on the ground here. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Coming up in future videos, we're going to take a look at some of the strategies I employ to do my filming, as well as taking care of an urban chipmunk infestation. And we're going to look at this disgusting bug orgy. Just because. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you dug the video. And feel free to give me a comment down there below. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.